Hello, David Zeritsky for The Bond Experience. Welcome back. This should give you a pretty good clue about what this vlog is all about. We're going to be talking about James Bond shorts, and that's going to include bathing suits. And what better way to start than this now iconic La Perla from Casino Royale. Now let's go back to the part. It's kind of a, a big moment because it was a nod to Ursula Andress, but Daniel Craig, in all his glory, walks out of the sea. And by the way, he was only in like a foot of water, so he felt a little ridiculous, but he walked out in these bathing suit and obviously people were like, that's the new James Bond. A little bit different than the previous James Bond. So it kind of was starting to wipe away the old and usher in the new. But again, everybody had to go out and, and get the La Perlos or something that looked like it. And here they are and really, really incredibly well made. La Perla is also very well known for lingerie, uh, well known in the fashion circles. But you see it's a solid navy blue. Um, the front here itself, very, very cool. Uh, you've got the light blue with the dark blue, a nautical look, which is perfect. I mean, he's in the Bahamas. Uh, he himself is nautical <laughs> in a way. And it was the perfect way, because it's pretty short, um, you've got to be pretty daring and in great shape to wear this, but it was an incredible way to show off the fact that this new James Bond is fit as a fiddle. Want to prove it? Put on the La Perla. So it, it's really very cool. And although we're not ranking these, we're kind of showing these to you, uh, it had to be the way we were going to start this, but let's roll it forward. Skyfall. Bond is in Shanghai. He's trying to relax. What does he do? Like many of us, he starts swimming. At the top of his hotel, you see that swimming scene, he gets on the side there, and again, it's a re-establishment that Daniel Craig is in fine and fit shape, Bond's in fine and fit shape, even after the ordeal that he did. It's a bit winded, but still, what better way to show it off than the Olibar Brown setters. Now, these are the original. They did reissue these. It is the same exact color. It's in a sky, a sky blue. but. What you'll see on here on the sides is, for example, I'll bring it in a little bit closer, are those fasteners. I mean, that is just so all of our brown. And again, I don't know if we need to go over the history because you've seen a lot of videos on all of our brown, but it this really was invented specifically because they wanted to create a short slash bathing suit that you could go from the pool to a restaurant and you wouldn't be kicked out of that restaurant. Not that they would kick Bond out of there, but it was a perfect pick and it really established Olibar Brown as a Bond brand. It put them on the map for all of us and then just things started to roll forward pretty quickly after this. Now we wanted this video to be very complete, so instead of just doing screen accurate or worn by Bond bathing suits and shorts, we wanted to also put those that were inspired by Bond and these Olibar Brown poster shorts swimsuit are perfect for that. Um, I really dug these. I, I know that, you know, people either love them or they were kind of meh about that, but I thought they were fantastic. I think they are fantastic. Still available, obviously. This is one of my favorite. This is obviously the Thunderball one. I'll give this a nice little rotation so you can see the back here. You've got different uh, parts and pieces from the iconic poster of Bond Underwater. Imagine yourself uh, scuba diving or snorkeling in these. It's fantastic. It's got Sean Connery Thunderball around the leg and obviously a little brutal fight there with Sean Connery and one of his nemesis, but it captures that moment within Thunderball in a really iconic way. But this wasn't the only one they did. Now, some of you like your Roger Moore, you, they like camp. Maybe you even like space. Well, perfect way to represent that love is these Moonraker shorts from Oliver Brown. And I'm laughing because uh, you can see Drax up close. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually bring this towards the camera. I mean, look at some of the details on this. It really, captured the poster there's jaws right on your bum that's exactly where you want jaws but look at this jaws right in the front there i mean look at some of the detail of this including the moonraker poster moments this is so much fun and quite frankly if you like moonraker you kind of like that whole camp uh wearing these shorts proudly i think that's a part of accepting that particular moment 
Now I'm going to acknowledge something. It, it helps to have a certain feeling of whimsy and embracing your fun side when wearing these. For example, this one from You Only Live Twice. I mean, take a look at this. I'll bring it in decently close. You can see um, the trajectory, let's call it that, of the gun work, if you will, on a particular area of your bathing suit. Come on, that's a lot of fun. And then of course you've got the back representing as well. I'll bring that in a little bit close. And down by the legs, uh, you have this great representation of part of the poster. You only live twice and twice is the only way to live. And that is a really good kind of call out when you're wearing these types of things. It's you have to embrace that you only come around once. If you're going to do something, do it with a lot of fun. Uh, that's my motto. Another Bond inspired moment are these, the Dr. No, the first James Bond film adventure swim shorts. What's cool about this is a lot of people were like, hold on a second, isn't, isn't, isn't his shirt supposed to be blue? They got the color wrong. No, they didn't. The lobby cards, because they were supposed to be a little bit more colorful back then to attract people to a brand new movie, nobody knew what James Bond was about, uh, they put him in red, they colorized it in red. So Oliver Brown, instead of changing it back, said, you know, let's pay deference. Let's do a nod to that particular fact of lobby cards having that type of an influence back then. Thus, these shorts and the coloring. What I like about this is you see all these parts of Jamaica. You've got uh, Ursula Andress coming out. These really, really iconic moments representing on the short. I'll tell you what, if I ever get to Goldeneye, these are coming with me. It's kind of a natural, right? This next one we see quite a bit of in Thunderball. This is the pink day short. It's about a 50% linen, 50% cotton, incredibly soft. What I really like about it are the details, no surprise. So look around the waist, how you see these uh, belted tabs here, which is really cool. Uh, even in the pocket, it's got some darting going on there. But these things are really soft. The fit is really good as well. Now, if you were to be screen accurate with these, uh, the length would be shorter. I'm glad that they went a little bit longer because between you and me, uh, when I wear these out in public, yes, I do, so would you, I like them to be just a little bit longer, not too long that they you know, look like um, uh, clam diggers or anything like that, or those giant you know, basketball shorts, but something a little bit longer because the, the higher ones, they're just a little bit high for me to be walking around. Great for bathing suits. This is a perfect short length, my opinion. Gold finger, yes, gold finger shorts. These are the ones that you see when Bond is in Miami. And then he puts that now famous onesie over these. Now, Olimar Brown never sought out to uh, do cosplay, do costumes. They, they set out to give interpretation. So this is their interpretation. This would have been a little bit uh, shorter. You can see the length of these. Um, I've worn these before as bathing suit and as shorts, and boy, am I happy they're, they're this length. If they were much shorter, uh, it might be a little bit too short for me, at least for my style preference. Uh, take a look at the details, though. The gold on the side, the tabs. You've got that really cool pocket in the back, and then that loop to hang it up. These are made out of um, something, I think it's polyamide. I, I'm probably getting that wrong, so I apologize. I will correct it if it's wrong in the description below, because I'm a human, hello. But the reality is, is um, what it's made out of is really good because it dries in a wick. It dries very quickly, and you want that in a bathing suit, especially if you're going from the pool uh, directly up to go get a sandwich at the bar or the restaurant. These fit the bill. And with that stitching, that detailed stitching, which I'm not sure if you can see, but if you can see it, you're happy with it. I'm happy with it because the stitching really takes you back to that moment in Goldfinger where Bond is just being Bond. I told you I wasn't going to play favorites. I wasn't going to, uh, I wasn't going to rate these, but if I was playing favorites, this would be amongst them. Obviously from Thunderball, it's that, uh, had that belted look. Uh, this is not an actual belt. Many of you know that. This is uh, actually just darkened navy on here. A couple of people were like, why didn't they just do a belt? But I think that would have been something that maybe could have gotten lost or maybe it was a manufacturing decision. But take a look. From a foot and a half away, it looks like you got a belt. 
So it has that without the risk of it getting lost. What I love about this is, um, again, you have that back pocket in there, which is really handy. You've got the darting in the back, the length, the look, the color. The color is so cool and so connected to that Thunderball moment. What I love about this is if you were trying to capture, and I love Thunderball, if you were trying to capture one indelible moment in a short and in a bathing suit from Thunderball, I'd probably go with this one. So that to me uh, speaks of volumes. What I loved about this is some of the rubberized buttons really kind of modernize it as well. So yes, it's a vintage look, it's a luxury look, but it also modernizes things appropriately. And that's kind of what Olibar Brown does. All right, this was a crazy one, but I had to show it to you. Uh, some of those uh, out there that have seen a lot of my vlogs, they've seen something on a brand called Vilbra Quinn, um, who are really trying to gravitate to the, to the look of Bond, the inspiration of Bond. So they made these blue swim shorts, but I'll, I'll show you something. Their, their motivation, their inspiration was from Skyfall, from the tuxedo, the blue tuxedo from Skyfall. How do we know? These are their tuxedo, <laughs> tuxedo swimsuits. Look at the details on that. Uh, very, very nicely tailored swimsuit. Uh, it's a great brand. It's a very cool brand, very bondish. In many cases, they're known for their bathing suits. But uh, this tuxedo look, this, this kind of satin ribbon down the side is uber cool. I have not worn these out in the wild yet. Uh, I would probably put a drink in me, but it's subtle enough. I just don't know how it would hold up in the water. I assume they're made for swimming, so why not? So a few years ago, Sunspell came out with their own James Bond bathing suit. It was inspired by Thunderball. They actually had Lindy Hemming uh, help design it as uh, part of a museum exhibit on some other costumes. Now, the, the interesting thing about this is, and we'll bring this up close, it's a beautiful bathing suit. Love the fabric that it's made out of. Love the details. It's really cool. The unfortunate thing is they patterned it off of a picture of Sean Connery from a movie that wasn't James Bond. I think they might have thought it was the Thunderball picture. He's there reading a book. And um, it's, a, it's a great shot of Connery in bathing suit that looks just like this but it wasn't from Thunderball. And that was a bit of a problem. Um, many people got this because it is Bond. It's a Bond related item. But in the lore of things, uh, when people found out about the picture mix up and things like that, it was a little bit of a ding, but we adore Sunspell so much. We love the brand, we love the people there. And this is still a very iconic piece, uh, still from that great picture with Sean Connery. So still resides in a proud place in my collection. So these, bathing suits come with a bit of an asterisk because these are from Olibar Brown, but Olibar Brown never said, this is part of our 007 line. These were bathing suits that I saw and wanted to include in this discussion because quite frankly, they look just like the other ones from Casino Royale, the ones that when uh, Bond and, and Vesper are frolicking in the beach, supposedly around Venice or some part of Italy, this looks like them. Now the ones in the movie had mauve, in the back, right? So not bang on, obviously. But the design, the look, the cut, um, many, many times we saw just the front of him or the side. So we thought, oh, it's, you know, got a stripe. This looks so close to it that I had to include it in this collection because of those moments from Casino Royale. And to me, even the way it's cut, it's got that very high cut, almost like the La Perla ones, that it still makes the grade of, I think, there was a part of something that maybe inspired someone uh, when thinking about Bond and putting these out. Another poster short from Olibar Brown. We got this one. We got Live and Let Die. Uh, my personal favorite Roger Moore film. That's just me. Harry Saltzman and Albert R. Broccoli present Roger Moore as James Bond. Live and Let Die. Take a look at some of the details on here. You've got the sheriff. A secret agent on whose side? What are you, some sort of doomsday machine boy? Gotta love him. It sounded like Harris Thomas there for a second. Anyway, not important. These are great. Uh, talk about whimsy and fun. You've got the speedboat flying across on your bum. I'm sorry, if that doesn't say I'm proud of James Bond, I don't know what does, unless of course it's the speedboat flying against your fly. Either one. But I had to show this, and I had to show it last, because to me, this is all about fun. 
Uh, the James Bond shorts, you can get really serious about it, the bathing suits, etc. But to me, this is a wonderful nod. Was this a complete list? Absolutely not. We don't have the Janssen ones. We don't have some of the older uh, ones. Couldn't get a hold of them. I'm sure there'll be a part two. But we wanted to kind of go through and talk about each one and who out there offers either uh, inspiration, a replica, or just you can buy nearly the screen accurate original. So this has been all of those together seem like the appropriate time because right now it's 95 degrees out. I have no idea what's the temperature in your neck of the woods. Could be negative 20 when you're watching this. But a quick little bit on James Bond shorts and bathing suits. I hope this was fun. Hope it was a little informative. And this has been David Zaritsky for the Bond Experience. We will see you real soon. Come on, let's go to the pool. Thanks for watching this episode. If you want to be up on the latest from the Bond Experience, just click on this subscribe and subscribe to our channel. You're gonna get all the latest and greatest information plus some exclusive content. And by the way, speaking of content, here's something especially for you just because we know you. Talk to you soon.